everybody, it's Hexa and today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I am filming this on my brand new Canon camera. I am so happy. It just arrived today. This is the first thing that I'm filming with it ever. I have like I haven't even tried filming for even one second before I started shooting this video. I took a few pictures and it's just amazing like the difference that a really fancy camera makes. All of the pictures just look perfect and beautiful and fabulous. It's like it does all the work for you. It's amazing. I'm so happy. So I've never done a get ready with me on my channel before. A get ready with me <coughs> voice. So I've never done a get ready with me on my channel before. A get ready with me is basically like doing my makeup while just talking about life and things. So it's not like a makeup tutorial necessarily. I will let you guys know what I'm using but Mostly I'll just be talking, so this video will be super long and rambly, but I hope you guys stick around and enjoy it. There's still a lot of other pieces of equipment that need to like trickle in that still have to be ordered because obviously this is a big investment and I didn't really, I didn't like buy everything all at once. I got the camera first and uh, hopefully next I will be buying the tripod and the the lights and the microphone and everything but it's gonna be like kind of a slow building up the quality of my channel I don't know what the audio is gonna be like on this camera I hope the audio is okay um, but for now I'm just super happy and excited because I have a Canon 70D and I'm just like over the moon about it. So anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing the, the makeup things because I'm supposed to be doing that. Um, oh my god. <laughs> this is like so overwhelming. I've never done this before. Actually, I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna, my aircon's already on, but I'm gonna turn it a little bit lower and more stronger. It's so hot in here. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of like a fall makeup tutorial. I'm filming this on the 31st of August, so to me that's like the last day of summer. Um, although, especially like here in Shanghai, um, it tends to stay pretty warm for a lot longer than that. Uh, I can't put my mirror here. Okay, never mind. So in Duty Free, I bought this set of primers from Smashbox. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I got the Photo Finish Primer Water, the Foundation Primer, and the Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer, so I'm going to be using those today. I honestly don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just super excited to have my camera here. It's so awesome. I'm so happy. So I don't want to be like Debbie Downer and talk about like sad things and bad things because I'm super happy about getting this new camera right now and I just want this to be a super positive video but at the same time there's also like been some stuff going on that's maybe not so fun that I feel like I should just mention and update you guys on and talk about because that's kind of like the whole point of a get ready with me is just to talk about what's been going on in your life I'm gonna try putting my my uh, mirror here wait I'll put it on the other side so it's not blocking the... Ugh. There we go. Okay, I can see the mirror. You guys can't. Boom. That's that's the whole shebang. Th I need to wipe it. <gasps> I don't think I will ever do another get ready with me after this at the rate that it's going at right now. I, this <laughs> is such a mess. Um, but so as you guys know, I've been dealing with some pretty bad, pretty shitty anxiety for the past few months. And recently that has kind of like developed into this very severe health anxiety, uh, where pretty much I've spent the past few months thinking that I have a brain tumor, which sounds ridiculous and weird and crazy um, but I've been getting headaches like every single day since March and I feel dizzy all the time I have headaches all the time I get this like weird kind of vertigo it's not like a spinning kind of vertigo like usual it just kind of feels like I'm rocking back and forth like I'm on a boat for a foundation I'm gonna be using my makeup forever ultra HD foundation 
So, and another one of my health concerns was that I could maybe have, like, a problem with my heart or my circulation. So I recently went for a health checkup and I saw my cardiologist and they did an EKG and an ultrasound of my heart, my chest, and my veins in my legs to check for like blood clots and stuff and pretty much what they said is I have a cyst in my left breast but it's nothing to worry about at all um, but that could be what's causing my chest pains it could be like a chest wall pain so basically a pain of the muscles or ribs or like the outer part of the chest so not like an internal organ pain which is good because that's not like life-threatening <laughs> um so that the breast cyst is nothing to worry about they're super super common and they just told me to get a get it like checked out again in one year to make sure it's not growing or anything like that and they didn't find any blood clots in my legs, so I'm not going to like die of a stroke or a pulmonary embolism or anything like that from blood clots traveling to vital organs. <laughs> so that's like another weight that was just kind of lifted off my shoulders. However, I did see the TCM doctor, TCM meaning traditional Chinese medicine, and TCM doctors work with not only with like herbs, herbal remedies and stuff, but also with like acupuncture and massage therapy and a lot of stuff like that. Um, most people don't really buy the whole herbal remedy thing. Um, I believe that herbs can help with certain things, I just wouldn't necessarily rely on herbal remedies for like anything really severe. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. <laughs> just putting that out there. <laughs> But I do believe in acupuncture and massage. I think that can help a lot with emotional issues and with physical issues. Um, if you have like posture problems and stuff like that. I'm gonna go get my powder because I forgot to bring it. So the TCM doctor had a look at me. He did a bunch of tests on my pulse. Apparently they like check your pulse points to find potential imbalances, like they'll be able to feel if your energy is low. TCM works on the basis of basis of things like chi, which is like energy flow, and if you have like energy blockages in certain organs or meridians or whatever, they'll be able to tell. But he also, like I, I, I'm a little bit skeptical about that, but I, I do believe it has some medical merit. Um, but aside from that, he also checked my um, bones, like my neck and my back. He asked me to just sit and he stretched my, me in different directions, got me to tilt my head different directions, and uh, pretty much what he concluded is that clearly there is something wrong with th three vertebrae of my neck. I think it's the third, fourth, and fifth or the 4th, 5th, and 6th, I'm not sure. Um, but he said there definitely is an issue. My other doctor, my GP, had wanted to um, <clears throat> get an x-ray to check what's wrong with my neck because neck problems can definitely cause headaches, but uh, the TCM doctor said that he would rather... Um, he would rather get an MRI ordered because that allows him to see everything more clearly. Next I'm going in with brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. So since he ordered an MRI for my neck, or suggested, he didn't order the MRI yet, but he suggested that we get an MRI for my neck, I asked him if we could also do an MRI for my brain at the same time just to like Basically, my, my logic here is, if there's no brain tumor, great, I can move on with my life and I can stop worrying about it. 
if there is a brain tumor, well, we should probably know about it as soon as possible, right? So at this point, even though MRIs are, are expensive, I would say that it's pretty necessary. Um, just because like having daily headaches is a concern and I feel like it's not being treated as seriously by my doctors just because they know that I have anxiety disorder. Um, but also because as soon as, like as long as I don't know for sure, like 100% that it's not a brain thing, I will keep thinking that it's a brain thing. And I think it would just be best for me to get it out of the way and to put my mind at ease or if there is a brain thing to like start dealing with it as soon as possible. Um, but the TCM doctor said that he wants to do a CT scan for the brain if... Uh, well, he said that he would like treat me and give me a few acupuncture sessions and and massage sessions and if my if I see no improvement and I still have daily headaches then we can get a CT scan and I was like okay but then I went home and I did some research and MRIs are clearer and also the contrast solution that they need to use in some cases is less likely to cause a allergic reaction than the one that is used for CT scans. CT scan and also CT scans are like are like a radiation thing so they have a significantly worse impact on your physical health than MRIs. MRIs are just like strong magnets so they don't really pump your system full of radiation. Um, I'm gonna set my eyebrows in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. The, the dip brow pomade that I bought is definitely too warm for my brows so I didn't really like do much with my brows. I just kind of like ran a little bit through just to darken them and fill them in a little bit but I think I need to get a different pomade, a different shade of the pomade, but I really like the the product. It's just not the right shade for me. Starting out for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I bought this in Romania and I'm super happy about it. But so that is what I'm in the process of doing right now is I'm going to uh, talk to my insurance company and see if they can put me in touch with a neurologist and if I can get them to just order an MRI and do a scan of my neck and my brain at the same time because I just feel like it's better. Like the sooner I get that out of the way, the sooner I can relax about it. Um, so that is what's been going on from like a health aspect. I know it's silly to you know, like, I'm a 19-year-old person, I'm young, I'm healthy, there shouldn't be any reason why I would have any brain tumors or aneurysms or anything, like, seriously wrong with me, but anxiety is, like, a very illogical disease, <laughs> um, and so is cancer, you know? Um, Breast cancer, ovarian cancer, you're more likely to get when you're older, but often the most severe ones, like brain cancer, do not discriminate by age as much. Obviously with most cancers, the older you are, the more likely you are to get it, but um, with brain cancer, it's really hard to diagnose, is very often diagnosed really late just because um, doctors don't really test for it. It's like one of those things that's so severe and so crazy that nobody ever really suspects it when people are feeling bad. And I've done a lot of research into this and there's been countless cases in which people have, w people who had brain tumors have just been given painkillers for their headaches or told that they're just having anxiety or they're just whatever um, and then they just like you know end up going into a seizure or collapsing or something really wrong happens 
and it's only then that they realize that, you know, they were actually right and there was actually something really wrong with them. This video sure took a turn. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be positive today because I just got my new camera and I'm super, super happy. Um, <laughs> but no, honestly, like, I'm happy that I'm getting closer to just getting that checked out and finding out for sure if there's anything that's really amiss. Because um, as soon as I know, supposing that they don't actually find a tumor, as soon as I know that it's not, um, I'll, I feel like I will be able to move on and like focus on my recovery rather than just constantly worrying and suspecting that I'm really sick. I haven't taken the sticker off my mirror yet from this palette. That is so satisfying. Isn't it just always the best feeling when you remove a sticker from like electronics or mirrors or stuff like that? It is the best. I don't know what much else to talk about. Um, some really exciting stuff happened. I got a, a, a patron on Patreon that literally pledged $150 and it came as such a huge surprise. It was completely out of the blue and unexpected and I was so, 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 so happy. Um, usually when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is um, check my emails on my phone and I get email notifications from Patreon whenever somebody pledges and it was just the most wonderful thing to wake up to, you know? Like, I checked my phone and it's like, somebody pledged $150 and that's just like, wow! Um, you know, I was so, so, so happy and that's definitely really helpful to me. Um, since I am buying a lot of equipment recently and I can really invest that money back into my YouTube channel, which is really wonderful. Uh, something else that I'm really looking forward to and really excited about is my f one of probably my favorite stationery brand, Kiki K, um, recently released their 2018 cute collection. Um, they make these planners, these like daily planner or weekly planner diary type of things. And they just released the, tw the 2018 <laughs> collection and I'm so excited to buy it. I think this year I'm going to do like a little bit of damage with some Kiki K products. I really want to just splurge and like buy a lot of new things from them because this year's collection is so beautiful. Some of the prints um, and patterns that they've designed are so cute. And, I don't know, Kiki K just consistently makes really good quality, really beautiful, really cheerful and happy designs, and I really love them for that. I'm trying to find the brush I was just using, because I, I realized I want to add a little bit more of that red I put on my lid. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Found it. Uh, maybe a little, little more. I don't know if this is, like, a fall look or just, like, a very hexa look, although I also don't think there is such thing as a hexa look because my style is constantly changing and evolving and I do so many different styles of makeup and clothing and all that. I'm a very unstable, indecisive person when it comes to like makeup and, and clothing and everything like that. I've talked about this before, like a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers and stuff have this very clear, um, very them sort of aesthetic that's like really iconic and when you go to their page you just know that that's what you're gonna find. But for me, like, I have so many interests, uh, there's so many styles that I enjoy, so many vibes that I like to portray and, uh, that I, you know, like, I'm very fearless, I don't, um... <laughs> has an anxiety disorder and says she's fearless, like, pathetic, but <laughs> um, I'm not afraid to experiment and have fun and, and uh, you know, try different things with fashion and style and stuff. So 
I feel like you never come to this channel and can expect the same thing. Um, I'm always, always changing it up, and I, I really enjoy doing that. I think I would be bored if everything I did was like the same, the same colors, the same style. It just would not work out for me. Um, I'm gonna go into my uh, Serpentina palette by Kat Von D. I haven't really used this palette a lot just because they're mostly shimmers and they're quite like fallout prone, but the colors are so beautiful. And I'm going in with this um, ancient gold called Medusa. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger and apply it to my lid. I don't know about that, it's a little bit dark, but it's really pretty. I feel like I wanted a little more brightness to it though, maybe I should have used Profit. The loose gold in here is also just gorgeous. <laughs> just like inspecting my eyes up close. And for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. What shade should I use? I think I'll go in with Forever Young, this shade up here. Again, I am filming way too late in the afternoon. What time is it? It's like, it's 4 p.m. now, so the lighting is a little darker than I would like it to be, but I got my camera and then I had to charge the battery immediately. And by the time that was done, I it was like late, but I still wanted to film today. Um, once the ring light comes in, we won't have that problem anymore. I'm gonna be ordering the uh, Diva ring light in Supernova. I think it's like the medium one. Um, the Diva light is pretty much the one that everybody uses and I just, I don't know, it's just, it seems to have lots of good reviews, people seem to trust the brand, so I would rather like get the best thing that I can possibly get than get something not so great and have it break on me or have to like buy a, a different one later on. Um, I think it just spares me the trouble to get the best of the best right from the start even though it's a little bit out of the budget, but it's an investment and it saves money in the long run. That's how I think and work. <laughs> this is the Too Cool for School mascara, the double-ended one. Uh, I haven't used this in ages and it kind of smells off, so I don't know. I, if I get pink eye after this, you guys will know why. I feel like this look is not turning out quite as autumn-y as I wanted. We can always change that up with like the lips. I was thinking of doing a really dark lip anyways. What am I doing next? Okay, I'm looking for my contour palette. I've run out of things to talk about. Ah! Um... This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I dropped it. Look. I don't know if you can see. Yay! It auto-focused. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, so see, like, there's, like, a bunch of chips in this. I was so sad when I dropped this. But, it's okay. It survived. I didn't lose that much product. So, good on you, Kat Von D. And I'm gonna try to chisel those cheekbones as best I can. Ooh, I just heard the the whirring from the autofocus. I know that's like a, a big problem with K 
cameras that autofocus is that you can often hear the lens moving and I've heard that on other YouTubers videos and it's definitely something that I do not want in my videos it's kind of just like one of those things that we will have to deal with both me and my subscribers during this like um transition period until I can get all of my equipment in because once I have an external oh. mic sorry my foot just squeaked on the floor um once I have an external mic we won't have this problem and you won't be able to hear the autofocus anymore but for the time being we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got <laughs> But still, like, I'm super, super happy. I'm so happy. Uh, this camera is amazing. I can't wait to start taking some really amazing looking Instagram photos with it as well. It's just so much, so... It just told me that movie recording has been stopped automatically, so apparently this camera also does that. Why do cameras, like, stop recording? It's so irritating. Like, maybe we're just filming a long video here. Why? <sighs> I don't understand the logic. Ew. Ugh. I was gonna contour my nose, but then I realized I don't have any good nose contouring brushes that are still clean. So I guess I won't be doing that. <laughs> These matte highlight shades from Kat Von D are definitely super underestimated. I also underestimated them for a long time, but now that I've like started using them, they're actually amazing. But I'm gonna go in with a not matte highlight as well. But first we're going to do blush. My favorite blush shades to use are always purpley blushes, but especially in the autumn I feel like purple is like the best tone. It is the- purples and reds are the tones of the season when it comes to the fall time. Um, so I'm going in with Your Love Is King by Too Faced. Too Faced Love Flush blushes are super super pigmented and Definitely need to be careful with them, but they're also just such pretty shades. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks. I think I made it, maybe overdid it with the blush a little bit, but at least I look, I look jolly. I look cute. <laughs> um, okay, next I'm going to, I'm talking way too fast today. Um, I'm gonna be highlighting with the Moonchild Glow Kit by Anastasia. I also got this. Um, I think I will be doing reviews on most of the, the new Anastasia products. I got all, all of the palettes, basically. Um, at first, when I bought these highlighter palettes, I was actually kind of concerned because I didn't like them as much as I thought I would, because uh, they're so glittery, and I feel like the glitter chunks were just too big. Um, but then I tried applying my highlight with a beauty blender and it works so well and it really like it takes away the problem of just having glitter fallout everywhere and it looks really nice. So there you go. If you're having an issue with your highlighter giving you like glitter fallout, try applying it with a beauty blender. That should solve your issue. I think my beauty blender is a little bit too wet though today. Mm, I want to highlight my forehead, but I don't want to overdo it, but I probably will, but we'll try. I love forehead highlight. It's just so easy to like do too much. Okay, I think that's looking good. And then I'm gonna take a brush, just a fluffy brush, and kind of like go in with that over just to get rid of any glitter chunks that might be happening. And to pull this look together and make it super autumn-y, I'm gonna be using my Lime Crime Velveteen in Wicked. Please, please, please let this work well. Um, recently, I feel like this whole summer I've been having a lot of issues with applying my lipstick. I don't, I don't know what's been going on, but I've been terrible at lipstick application. Where can I put this mirror? Oh my god. Okay. 
Nope, I think you, you guys are just gonna have to deal with having a, a mirror in your peripheral vision of this video because I need it closer to me to like see my face. Is it focusing on my face? Yes! So happy! Okay, officially the lips totally pulled this look together and made it fall appropriate and super vampy. Um, I'm gonna be setting it in place with um, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water because I did not, uh, f I did not end up finding my favorite Urban Decay setting sprays that I wanted to buy this summer, so. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get some sent over to me by a friend in Hong Kong. <coughs> uh. mm. That does not taste good. <laughs> Letting my hair down. I desperately need to dye my hair. I'm going to order some hair dye from Lime Crime. I really want to try their unicorn hair dye in anime. It looks like literally my perfect blue. Anime is like my blue. That is my shade. I'm so, so happy that they came out with that color because it is literally everything I look for in a hair dye. It is the perfect shade of blue for me. Um, and I will definitely be ordering that and trying it out soon and doing a hair dye tutorial with Unicorn Hair by Lime Crime in anime. So stay tuned for that. I know I've been gone from YouTube for quite a long time and I haven't done a lot of filming, but I have a lot of ideas ready to be made. Um, but also if you guys have any suggestions, any ideas, any requests, anything you would like to see from me on this channel, please leave your suggestions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys want to see from me. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for joining me on my first try out filming with my new camera. Um, I really appreciate, I really appreciate, I can't get that word out today, oh my god. I really appreciate you guys joining me for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more. And you can donate to my Patreon down below to support me and my channel and getting all of the new equipment that I still need to order. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!